So I wrote the pilot. Um, I turned it in, and uh, I met with Marty again, and he said, um, I think I want to direct this. And I, I almost fell out of my chair. I went, oh, my God. I said, great. And he goes, well, how do we move this forward? And I said, well, I'll tell you what. If you call the head of HBO and tell them what you just told me, I'm pretty sure this is going to move forward at the speed of light. And he said, okay, great, I'll do that. So the next day, uh, you know, I left there. I actually, I think I texted Richard Plepler, president of HBO. I said, Martin Scorsese says he wants to direct the pilot. And I got like exclamation points back, like, oh my God, you know, and then it was like, this was huge. What was the experience of having your pilot um, being directed by Scorsese? I, d I didn't believe it. I, I just, I didn't, I didn't think it was going to happen. I mean, I have the call sheet for the first day right there. I know the other call sheet is The Wolf of Wall Street, which is a movie I wrote that Martin Scorsese is directing. But that's the call sheet from day one. It's got, you know, director Martin Scorsese, writer Terrence Winter. And they're like, this is not, this can't be me, Terrence Winter, but it is. The first day on set, uh, it was a rainy Monday morning, and we were in Brooklyn at the Dutch Reformed Church on Flappish Avenue. We shot uh, a scene with a temperance meeting where Steve gives a speech to the temperance ladies. And I got there at 6 a.m., and Tim Van Patten and I were standing outside the set waiting, and a car pulls up, and Martin Scorsese gets out, and he walks up and says, okay, let's rehearse. And I looked at Tim, and I said, this is actually, this is really happening. And he went, believe we were like little kids and we had prepped up until that point and spent hours of meetings with Marty and you know for me one of the most amazing things was Marty's got this screening room uh, at his offices uh, in the DGA building it's it's a little mini movie theater and we got to watch pretty much every mob movie ever made with Martin Scorsese in the room giving live commentary I mean everything about you know the St. Valentine's Day Massacre all the every movie about Al Capone I mean, all these Warner Brothers, you know, gangster films. Uh, we watched Some Came Running because there's some carnival sequences that reminded him of the boardwalk. And this was like the greatest film class you've ever had times a million. You're watching movies with Martin Scorsese, and he's talking while you're watching them. Oh, now this shot, and it's just, it's just amazing. It was just, it was an incredible experience. And then to actually have him on the set directing something I wrote was just, just mind blowing. What were some of the most important things that he brought <clears throat> to that act that pilot? I mean, he really created the whole look of the show. I mean, just the the whole tone of it, the whole visual style, uh, the lighting. I mean, just just the whole, you know, every aspect of it. I mean, just just the look of it, the hair, the makeup, the the you know, again, the the the, the timing, the the comic sensibility. I mean, it's, it's all there. It's funny when we, Tim and I would used to talk and we'd say it was it was. We felt like, you know, in the 80s, the United States government had a standing offer to any Russian pilot. If you can deliver us a MiG. Uh, we'll give you a million dollars. And what they do is they get the MIG and they dismantle it. And then they put it back together and they see how it works. We were waiting for him to deliver the pilot. That was our MIG that we were going to then dismantle. So, oh, how do we do this every week now? So waiting to get it so we could say, okay, this is now, this is what it needs to look like. So Tim um, directed episodes two and three of the series. And that was by design. You know, A, it's Tim who's, you know, if anybody could follow Martin Scorsese, Tim Van Patten can. And it's we wanted to have a continuity so we would have three hours of material so the next director who came in it, it'll be seamless so Tim took it and then worked with our own DPs to say okay this is what we're trying to do here and I think it's seamless I mean especially when you say you had the pilot which had this huge budget and now you're back into reality of the series budget which is much less but it looks incredible and uh, you know just did an incredible job and he figured out how to build a MIG <laughs>